Hello YouTube, welcome back to my channel. Hope you like my new introduction video. It didn't take me long to make it. I might make another one just to check it out, but happy Halloween. That's been pretty cool. I didn't get to spend time with my daughter this Halloween. I haven't been feeling too good for the past couple of days, but I figure it's a little late. It's about 11 o'clock at night. I figure I go through my Resident Evil games that I own because since it's Halloween, I figure let's check them out. I collected a few of them over the years. I don't have all, every single one of them that I want, but I got the ones that I play, you know, the most. But let's go through them. We'll start from, you know, the PlayStation games, and let me get them down here so I can get ready for them. Let's start off with the Resident Evil the first one. I don't have the original first one. I'm going to eventually pick it up. But I do got the Resident Evil Director's Cut. I got like two copies of it. One of them is like a double disc. It has the demo of Resident Evil 2 on it. So that's pretty cool. Director's Cut to me is still pretty good. It's a better game version of the original one. Then we go to um, Resident Evil 2. I bought this when it first came out. That's pretty cool. Resident Evil 2. Yeah, man, I can't wait to play this again. I might have to pop this in and I play it. Then, oh, Resident Evil 3 has the demo of Dino Crisis on it. Those are my original PlayStation games. Let's go with, uh, let's see what came out afterwards. Let's go with the GameCube. And the Dreamcast. Well, not Dreamcast. I don't have no Dreamcast ones. Alright, what's it? They got my GameCube ones. Alright, where are they all? Alright, here we go. I'll go to the GameCube ones. Since we went through number three, then I got Resident Evil 4, the GameCube edition, GameStop Special Edition. That's pretty cool. It's got all kinds of goodies in it. It's got the game, of course. Got a prologue book. And some little. Little min, you know, mini cells. Whoops. Uh, hold on a minute. Mini cells. Yes. <laughs> That's a pretty cool little set there. I like it. I like it a lot. And then they made a remake of the original Resident Evil, which to me was one of my, it's, it's one of my favorite Resident Evil games. It's coming out for the PS4, I think the Xbox 3, no, Xbox One or whatever, but all the other systems, but they're making a remake of it. It's this one right here. Resident Evil, or I'd say an HD remake. I like it. This, this, they did a really good job on this. And then uh, they came out with this one. It's a self, self game that Nintendo on uh, GameCube came out with. It's um, it's a, it's a storyline that that you know follows along with it. Resident Evil Zero. Really cool game. It's all based on a train. And then uh, they re-released -re Resident Evil 2 and 3 in the GameCube. They didn't remake the game and or mastered them. They just kind of uh, ported them over. But I got them both right here. Resident Evil 2 and 3 for the GameCube. Uh, then we'll go over to the PlayStation 2. Let me see here. I had the Dreamcast version of this, but I ended up getting rid of it. I'm going to pick it up again sometime whenever I find it, but it's Code Veronica X, Resident Evil. PlayStation 2 has more options, more stuff included with it, but I still like to get the Dreamcast version of it, too. Cool game. I got both the Outbreaks, out, uh, Outbreak series. <laughs> so I got Outbreaks 1 and 2 uh, for the Resident Evil. I don't have their gun con game. I did have it. Whatever. I got rid of that. It's a first person shooter one. I don't have that one no more. But alright, that's my PlayStation 2 games. My PlayStation 3 games, I only got three of them. First one is Resident Evil 5. I played the crap out of that one, try to get my platinum. I don't think I've got it yet, but I might have to get back onto it and try to get them. Resident Evil 6, which is by far the worst Resident Evil game I think made. I don't like it. I don't like the action in the game at all. I don't have nothing spooky in it. I think I played like an hour in the game. I put it down. It's a piece of shit in my opinion. Excuse my language, but it's crap. 
the next crappy one that they came out with, which um, I wish Capcom would pull their heads out of her butt. It's Resident Evil Operation Raccoon City. Yes, enough said. All right, let's go to the 3DS version real quick. They did do Resident Evil right, and they did release it for the PlayStation 3 and all the other systems, and you know the the Wii. U. I'm going to get it for the Wii U probably pretty soon as that's Resident Evil Revelations. Now that's pretty much closest that you're going to get to Resident Evil. It's supposed to be, not no like crappy ass Resident Evil 6. Now my Wii games, just a regular Wii, I got both the Chronicle games. I got the Umbrella Chronicles and a Dark Side Chronicles. They're cool games if you like gun gun kind of games. They're really awesome. Great to pick up. Awesome games. Not a big collection of Resident Evil games. It's stuff that I collected over the years. I did get rid of some of them, but it's, it's not bad. I do got some Silent Hill games. Maybe someday I'll go through and check, you know, I'll go through with you. But other than that, tell me what you think of the video. Subscribe, comment, you know, suggestions for other videos, and hopefully you like my introduction video. But have fun. Bye bye. Oh, by the way, happy Halloween. <laughs>